Well, the Ottawa Fringe Fest is coming. A perfect date is part of the lineup. And let's find out more right now with the creator of Perfect Date, Sam Pomerant, joining us. How are you doing, Sam? I am doing good. Thank you. Uh, good to have you here. Now, first time part of Ottawa Fringe? Uh, yes, yeah, my first time being a part of the Fringe Festival. Um, yeah, it's a very exciting experience to be able to do this whole show all, all myself. Of course. Yeah. But you've written some other stuff before this? Uh, yeah, well, I've been a very active part of my uh, school theater department. Most recently, I uh, directed and wrote a full two act show there. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited to go out and not be uh, not held back but uh, restricted by what a school can and cannot say. I can understand that because yeah. Fringe allows you to do what you need to do. Exactly. To express yeah. yourself. I can make much more innuendo at a Fringe show. Innuendo. <laughs> okay, that's what we'll call it. Now, um, let's talk about the selection process. I mean, when did you find out you were going to be part of Fringe Fest? Well, so the Fringe Festival is very interesting. It works in a lottery system. So I think it was about uh, November that they do a draw of who can enter the show. Hmm. And fortunately, I was selected as one of the people who get to do an hour-long show. That's exciting. And from there, it's just all, all on me to get it done. But you've been working on this for a couple of years. Yeah, well, the initial idea for the show started about like two years ago. I just I had this idea of maybe doing a one-man show, and I had a bunch of material. But it wasn't until officially being in the French Festival that I kind of fit it all together and realized, oh, this works there, and this works together here to create a cohesive plot. Mm -hmm, nice. Okay, can I ask how old you are? I'm uh, 18. 18. But th so this has to do with, like, your dating life. Yeah, which is not a lot, clearly. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's uh, mostly about just how dating works, and especially with high school. Like, it's, very, it's a very interesting dynamic, I found, mm -hmm. that, like, these experiences I had with girls and trying to make it all work well and yeah. failing most of the time. Okay. Do, you, do you use real names? Um, the, I use one real name yeah. and only because I checked with her beforehand. I was okay. like, hey, is this okay if I use your name? Yeah. But otherwise I use uh, fake names. You need to protect the innocent, correct? Yeah, I'd rather <laughs> not get angry emails. <laughs> exactly. Nobody wants that for sure. No. Okay, but you've actually worked on all elements of the show, so I understand yeah. writer, director, performer, producer, wow. All the things. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of just like me alone, me like trying to figure stuff out. Uh, I've of course like contacted like uh, friends and other people who I know who work in theater to like get some advice but mm. it was everything eventually came down to my decision making process for okay. better or worse cool so don't give us spoilers or anything like no. that but uh, tell us about some of the play what exactly it's a one man, one person one show, man show yeah. yeah what exactly are you doing up there talking about I basically start off by talking about how right now I am very single um, and how I would like to not be single and then I go back and I talk about just my past uh, issues with girls, tell some fun stories about very small incidents that got overblown in my own head. Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't know, for example, I talk about how one girl, instead of going on a date with me, she lied and said she was in Florida. Wow. When I later found out she was just at a school dance across the street from where I was. That's extreme. That's <laughs> it's a, an aggressive form of rejection. Yeah. Hey, and if I can get, make you feel better, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get any better. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the nice. title, sorry, just <laughs> reality, 41, Oof. lots of stories. The title of this uh, this play actually is, is a great way to describe yourself. So you are the perfect age, I Sam? I honestly believe that there's nothing better than me. Okay. I'm just, I'm attractive, I'm Look at that, funny. confidence. Exactly, I'm confident, Good. it's all great. It's very I great. I understand that ladies enjoy confidence. Exactly. So that's important. So even if I fake it, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about the, the venue? Um, it's the mm. Odd Box. Odd Box. It's, so that's, uh, it's a space owned by the Ottawa Dance Directive inside of Arts Court. It's uh, usually used for dance performances, but for the Fringe Festival, they make it into a whole theater experience. So okay. for the most part, it's very intimate shows there, mm -hmm. usually one or two people in the cast. And it's, it's a great way for having a small show with a, uh, just the audience and the performer. Okay. Six showings in total? Yeah. Well, when is the first showing? Uh, the first showing is this Thursday. Okay. At 9.30. Yeah. Okay, and, and it's a little confusing as well because you're showing at different times. Yeah. Like a bit earlier and then all of a sudden late shows. It so is it's, it's all really, over the place. So, so basically people don't have an excuse. Exactly. It's any time is available. <laughs> <laughs> and you say it's about one hour in total? About one hour, yeah. Okay, is it hard to keep up that momentum for a full hour? It's challenging. I definitely, I constructed the show in a way where there are definitely, there's high points, but I do allow myself some lower moments of just yeah. less energy so I don't like pass out halfway through. Okay, yeah, you don't want to pass out. Definitely not. Sure. Uh, can I ask you now, not another spoiler but how, how is the dating world going for you these days currently it's less than ideal yeah. I mean um, I'm at the end of high school which means prom is coming up yeah. and there's a whole bunch of people asking other people to prom and I've decided or it's been decided for me that I will be going alone okay <laughs> depending on how you look at it if it makes you feel better I did that myself well yeah and you turned out great well <laughs> that's debatable <laughs> Sam thank you very much ottawafringe.com for more details yeah. good job man awesome. keep thank the confidence going Woo. it's important <laughs> thank you for being here have a good day